7 and 8 tenths equals x plus 5 and 6 tenths. So your first step is to box the variable. And this is going to be your visual cue, your visual cue to isolate the variable. And that's going to be your goal always in equations is to isolate, to get the variable by itself. Your next step is to draw a wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to start moving numbers to the other side of the wall so that x can be by himself. Okay, because that's really what he wants to be. He wants to be by himself. He wants to be isolated. So how we start moving numbers over is we do something called the inverse operation. Or the opposite operation. So in order for x to be by himself, we have to move 5 and 6 tenths. Not just 5 and 6 tenths, we have to move positive 5 and 6 tenths. So the inverse or the op opposite of positive 5 and 6 tenths is negative 5 and 6 tenths, okay? And whatever we do on one side of the wall, we also have to do on the other side of the wall. So I'm going to do the same thing here. We have to remember we need to line up our decimals on this side, which we did, right? So on this side, I have positive 5.6 and negative 5.6, which actually they cancel each other out because of zero. So that's gone. So now we're just left with x on this side, which is what, we, what x wants, right? And then we have a subtraction problem over here. So we're going to just subtract it out. We're going to bring our decimal place down. 8 minus 6 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. So our answer is, and we can just flip it around, x equals 2.2. Pretty easy, right? And the cool thing about these equations, and, or any equation, is you can check it. So we're saying that x equals 2.2. So what we can do is we can plug in, instead of x, we can plug in 2.2 right there. So instead of x, we can say 2.2 plus 5.6. And if it's right, then the equation will be balanced, which means this side would equal 7.8. So if it's correct, if we add these up, it has to equal 7.8 because equations always have to be balanced. So let's see if it's right. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2.2 plus 5.6. Again, line up those decimals. 6, 7, 8. Turn the decimal down. 5, 6, 7. So this side is equal to 7.8, and this side is equal to 7.8. So our equation is balanced, and we got it right. 